Today, Idahoans are remembering the life and legacy of former Governor Cecil Andrus. KBOI 2 Scott Logan has been following this to show you how you can pay your respects to the former governor. Cecil Andrus, Idaho's only four-term governor, paid a final visit to the State House. His casket escorted by an honor guard and lifted up by the love of a grateful state. Outside, cannon thundered in salute. Inside, hearts opened with memories of a man most simply called Cease, the last Democrat to serve as governor of the state. Cease Andrus was Idaho. We were fortunate to call him an Idahoan. I was blessed to call him my friend. I've worked with Governor Andrus for over half of a century. We demonstrated with many others that you don't have to be from the same party in order to get results. Andrus not only served an unprecedented four terms as governor, but he was also Secretary of the Interior under President Jimmy Carter. As the public filed by Governor Andrus's casket in the State House Rotunda, it seemed everyone had a Cecil Andrus story. My Cecil story is uh, my father, who was a staunch Republican, voted Republican straight ticket for years. The only Democrats that he voted for uh, were Governor Cecil Andrus and uh, uh, Senator Frank Church, and he was very proud of that. He was a spokesman for Idaho and the nation. He's done a lot of wonderful things for the environment, and he'll, he's definitely set a footprint in a lot of people's lives. I think it'd be hard-pressed to say that there was any person in Idaho political history who touched more people for good over a longer period of time than C. Sanders did. Again, that was Scott Logan reporting. Also announced today, Capitol Park will be renamed Cecil B. Andrus Capitol Park. It will be renamed in a future dedication ceremony. Tomorrow, you can attend a vigil in Andrus's honor at Boise State. It starts at 2 o'clock in the Boise State Jordan Ballroom. The event will feature guest speakers, including Idaho Congressman Mike Simpson. Also, Mark Johnson, you just saw him on camera there. He is the former press secretary. If you can't make it, we will be streaming it live on our KBOI2 Facebook page.